Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here for a love tarot reading for the sign of Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A general reading, timeless. So let's see what the energy is in store for Libra and love at this time. Let's see. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, Seven of Cups. Somebody's keeping their options open. Somebody may want to reconcile. Ooh, lover's card, soulmates, world card. Ooh, interesting reading. All right. So let's see what the energy is between you and your beloved in the recent past. All right. Ace of Swords, you both have a lot of clarity. Looks like you've been conversing. Looks like truth is being told. Currently, the mutual energy is that you're not talking. Look at that. You're keeping to yourselves. You're being very discreet. You're not opening up. Interesting. What is the energy, Libra, that your person has for the relationship in terms of what they think is possible? Seven of Swords. I don't like that. That can be a card of deception. It can be a card of sneaking around. We've got two sevens here. There's a spiritual lesson to be learned. All right, what is the, how do they view you? They view you as a very traditional person who may be in another relationship. You may be committed. This person could be, this is really interesting. Okay, how do they feel in their heart space? Eight of Wands, they feel passion, passion, passion. They fantasize about you. They might drive by your house. Very interesting energy. So we have Cancerian energy. We have Aquarius energy, we have Taurus, and we have, um, not Leo, Sagittarius energy, sorry. All right. The way they see the two of you moving forward is as single people. They see you as being pre-empress status. They see the two of you doing very well together. It looks like you're both single. It looks as though Libra, as though you're both very successfully single. What's the mutual energy that's hidden? Six of Cups. You may have known this person for a long time. I almost feel like this is a stalking card. I don't usually say something like that. But I mean, if this person is stalking you, it's because they've known you for a long time. So they don't really think they're stalking you, but it, it's weird. You know, it's like they're very curious about you. What is the advice of spirit? Ooh, Aquarius energy. Have the clarity to move on along. Don't indulge in this, is what spirit is saying. Either that or the relationship needs to heal from this toxicity. All right, what's the outcome at this time? Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy. You both have fire in your belly for the relationship. I'm not getting a lot of coupled up here, though. The energy that I'm getting here is that the two of you are friends, acquaintances. I have a great deal of affection and love for each other from a time long ago. This person may be trying to come back into your life. Interesting. And for some of you, you could be married and they could be single. And so they don't feel they can make an approach. So with the Ace of Swords, both of you know a truth. Why is that truth card here? Truth and clarity. Ah, five of coins. Somebody was left in the cold. But that's mutual. So at some point, the two of you didn't see the way or the path forward. Because I get that there was a mutual leaving each other in the cold and a mutual feeling that this could not come into fruition. But again, it's not true. The Five of Pentacles card is not really seeing the forest for the trees. There's a key. The key opens a door. But both of you thought that you were locked out. You didn't think it was possible. Five of Coins is Taurus energy. Could also be people, who, and this is Taurus energy, could be people who feel as though they can't afford to leave a marriage for whatever reason. There's lots of good reasons not to leave a marriage, you know. There can be children, there's investments, so, okay. So, we see the Queen of Wands. So, again, there could be a situation where there's been an infidelity or an other woman, or at least an attraction. That's what I see, Libra. That's Aries Queen. 
So it looks as though the two of you have a really strong attraction. Here we go, three of swords, here we go. It looks like it was a secret affair. The High Priestess is all about really loving and it's nurturing energy, it's Cancerian energy. Uh, but the Three of Swords says that you may be having a secret affair in which somebody has to sneak around to come and see you or you them. The Three of Swords, third party situation. Yeah, see, Spirit is saying. Okay, so it does look as though the two of you are in separation. I would say that. Spirit is confirming that you should stay in separation. Why is the Seven of Swords here, though? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Libra? Why is your person, like, sneaking around? Ten of Coins. Reversed. Ten of Coins in the reverse says that this person really wanted a very beautiful, like, very stable relationship with you. But it looks like they're sneaking around to try to see if you're still married or... You know, they may be in a situation where their marriage has been turned on its head. But that very much is a marriage energy card. The Ten of Coins is Virgo energy. Maybe dealing with a Virgo. Why is the Ten of Coins reversed here with that Seven of Swords? It's almost like somebody's like running out. They want to leave their marriage upside down. They don't want that investment anymore. They want to throw caution to the winds. This was upright in the deck when I pulled it out. So what else about, why do they want to throw caution to the winds? That's a lot to give up. A marriage. Ah, the tower card reversed. The tower card in reverse is, I mean, it's supposed to be better than the tower upright, but I don't think so. I feel as though this person feels stuck. They feel really stuck, okay. Why is the Hierophant card for the card that describes you? Ah, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have three cards that fell out. So the story is, is that when we get the Two of Coins and the Three of Swords, that is, quote unquote, dead ringer for third party situation. At least one person's married. Both of you could be, but I don't think so in this instance because of the Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Swords says that you have, um, you moved away from this person. You broke things off. And yet, you really want to see them. Chariot card. It's almost like you want to sneak off and drive away to the no tell motel i shouldn't say it like that i don't mean anything disrespectful i just mean that you're looking for a private space but you feel like this is this person is your home libra i'm my heart goes out to you this is painful eight of wands clarified by the emperor your person does not intend to actually let you go i don't think i don't think they can the Emperor's driving the Chariot, too. So again, when I get the Chariot card and I get that Seven of Swords, I always feel like that's a drive-by, especially when they, they're they really fantasizing about you. They're also trying to think about what, what their life would be like with you when they give up. They think of giving up their current situation. Why is the Emperor card here for our beautiful Libra friends? I'm sorry, if I've said any other thing... If I've said, you know, I, I am doing the Libra reading, but I have all these different cards, and so sometimes I stumble. So please forgive me if I've said the wrong thing. This is the Libra reading for clarity for everyone, but we are dealing with an Aries energy in the Libra reading. Three of Coins. You may work together. Your person's going to try to arrange it so that you work together. Your person's going to try to run into you at the grocery store. They're going to try to go where you, you work, maybe. The Ace of Wands reverse, see? No action on your part. They don't see any action coming forward. They don't feel like they have an option. They're feeling defensive. They feel like you're their divine partner. And again, they fantasize about you. You are the rock star for them. They're unhappy without you. There's no victory. All right, so... I'm going to put these back in the deck and shuffle again. The Six of Cups energy, why is it here? It's so beautiful. Six of Cups is, is that beautiful Scorpio energy. You know, beginning and ending. 
and a new beginning. Why is the Scorpio Six of Cups here? Why is Scorpio energy here for our Libra friends? Oops, here we go again. Feeling dissatisfied and comfortable. You both are really missing each other. Like life is not as good without one another. Oh, it's really tough. This is sad. You both love each other. Oh my gosh, Queen of Cups. And you're both wounded. You're both trying to heal your hearts from this. The Ace of Cups reversed is no new beginning, no manifestation with the Emperor, re with the Magician reversed. All right, the Nine of Wands, why is it here? Oh, this is like unrequited love. It is unrequited love. There we go again. Look at that. Book ending. You have fire in your belly. You want to meet up. You will meet up. It looks like you might make love. You might meet up. Again, fire in your belly. Look at that. That's wild. Eight of Wands. You can't give up on each other. It looks as though you have a very significant meetup of some sort in the near future. Okay. What's going to happen now? Nine of Coins reverse. Not really enjoying. Your person's not enjoying being single. This is a very, very upsetting situation for them. I feel as though you're upset. I don't think it's as bad for you because you look, you appear to be the one who really released this and made the decision for separation, Libra. It looks as though, but you, you two of you can't give up on each other. All right, so these just fell out. You're between two worlds, Libra. Look at that. Makes sense, doesn't it? The truth be told, and the truth is not being told. That came out reversed. The truth is not being told. The two of you have secrets. Clean it up. So a lot has to be done here. A lot has to be cleaned up. Even from a karmic standpoint, because Spirit is saying this is not going to come together. However, it really speaks to the fact that there's a lot of unfinished business between the two of you. Let's see what your ancestors' advice is for you, Libra. What is the advice from your ancestor? And then I'm going to pull a High Priestess Oracle card for you also. Okay. Take care of your needs. Okay. Take care of yourself. This is a very tough thing to experience in your life. It's to have this sort of house divided against itself is what it feels like for you, Libra. Okay. What else do we have? For Libra, that's tough. Harvest, gathering blessings. You know, it's really kind of a counter blessings to me is what, what I'm seeing for the High Priestess energy. Let's see where you're at on your love journey. Where are you at on your love journey, Libra? Where are you at on your love journey? Fire and ice. Wow. The swan. The ugly duckling to the swan, you're in a transformative period, fire and ice, trying to use your intellect and your passion. You're torn between the two. So Libra, right now, it seems to me a relationship that's going to continue at least sporadically when you can't really hold yourself back from this person. So sending you much love from Chicago. I hope you're okay. Send some back. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you find the video interesting. It would be so helpful for me. Thank you so much for your viewing time. I really appreciate you. Bye-bye.